I built this script earlier on today, uh, and I built it for one, for one specific purpose. Uh, the Kazali Soldier Jinx. Uh, so, if the Kazali picks the soldier on night one, that person just doesn't become a minion. I don't want that to happen, but I want to simulate it happening to a lunatic. Oh, it's not a jinx. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's literally how it works. Uh, but yeah, but I want to simulate that happening to a lunatic uh, because I just want to see how their reaction will be. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna put two Kazali's in the bag. Uh, how do I get it to let me put two Kazali's in the bag? It won't let me, will it? There's no toggle button anymore. Oh well. We'll just put a Kazali and a Lunatic in the bag then. Whoever gets the Lunatic is the Kazali. Uh, and so in, in that case, let's throw let's throw Mutant Barber in there as well. Well, no, let's throw let's throw Mutant Sweetheart in. Uh, a bit more madness with the Pixie, I think. Uh, I'm probably not going to put the Soldier in. Uh, I need to take Sailor off this, I think, at some point. Or do I? This did initially have a leech on it, which I've removed. Oh well, whatever. Doesn't matter. It's a one-use script. Philosopher, Savant, Mayor, Ravenkeeper, uh, Mathematician. Yeah, let's throw the barber in there as well. Good to see you plan this out so well. <laughs> okay, uh, and, yeah, let's put a flower girl in there. Okay, gonna pass these out randomly, see what we get. Okay, let me just move this out of the way. So it looks like... Yep. So it looks like Aggie's gonna be our lunatic, and Ellen's gonna be our actual Kazali. Okay, uh, over to our philosopher first. Hello, Richie. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, would you like to use it? Um. Oh God, would I like to use it? Uh. Why is there <coughs> No, I'll hold off for a day. Um, do some thinking. Okay, have a good old think. Thank you. Yes. Okay, right. Now we're going to do the fake Kazali choice. According to the uh, wiki, you can do the lunatic Kazali and then tell the real demon who they chose. Or not. It's optional, apparently. Well, it is playtest character, to be fair. So we are literally playtesting. Hey, Ben. Hello, Aggie. Uh... Big picks. Who's it going to be? So there's this. There's a soldier on this script. There is a soldier on this script, uh, but like surely that. I would never put one in. Uh, also, if you want a marionette, it is the most uh, successful minion in Clock Tower. Don't forget, you have to pick a neighbor. I know. I was going to pick a neighbor anyway, uh, but it wasn't going to be a marionette. It was going to be for something else. One question before I do this: Does the philosopher go first? Yes. So the philosoph philosopher's already gone? Yes, if they've used their ability and if they're in play. And they might have picked Soldier. Might have. <laughs> uh, okay, remind me again the exact wording for the Soldier Jinx. Uh, well, technically it's not a Jinx. It's just that if the Kazali picks a Soldier, the Soldier doesn't turn into a minion because they're safe from the demon. Yeah, okay. So you'll have one minion in such an instance. Please don't do that, though. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, yeah, definitely not. Uh, well, I I've had very successful games as the Kazali. Surely nothing wrong will happen. Uh, I would like Malashan to become a poisoner. Okay. And I would like Ellen to be a goblin. Okay. Uh... Oh. 
tell me that <laughs> that noise was because you dropped something on the floor. Your minion is Ellen. Your no! <laughs> Your bluffs are Amnesiac, Pixie, and Savant. Ah. Uh, sad. Okay. <laughs> well, this hey, is fine. This will probably this be fine. on YouTube, so uh, you know, just go down swinging, and it'll be fine. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. So I chose Ellen as the goblin, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Life, life will be fine. We'll just need to get to Ellen and let her out it like claim goblin all the time. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Okay. This could all go to shit. Because I now have to tell Ellen what Aggie's choices were. Uh, and Ellen might erroneously assume that we haven't lied about Malishan. Uh, so, but we'll see how that goes. Hello, Ellen. Hello. Uh, Aggie is your lunatic. Okay. Aggie chose you and Malishan. <sighs> okay. Cool. Uh, um, I, I, sh I should remind you uh, a couple of things. I'm not necessarily saying these have happened, but do yep. keep this in mind. Um, as a minion, if Malashan is a marionette, I wouldn't tell you. Keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, and if I've simulated a soldier being in play, obviously this, the demon would then... So yeah, I'm just saying you can't just rush in there with this info, right? So keep that in mind. Yeah. Uh, who do you want to pick for your minions? Okay, yeah, I, I'd thought about who I was going to pick, and I was potentially going to pick Aggie, but I might change my mind now. Um, or do I change my mind? No, I don't. Oh god, I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is terrifying. Uh, yeah, I'll go for... Um, oh, let's go for George as the witch. Okay, George as the witch. Yep. Oh, I might go... I could go Malashan as well, and that would be quite funny, but I won't go... Oh, but if I don't go Marionette... And Aggie's gone Marionette for Mal... Oh, the fact she, she's chosen Malashan makes it so hard! Um... No, I'm gonna go for someone else. Who's it I gonna will... be? I will go for... Malarkey as Poisoner. Malarkey as Poisoner. Cool. Uh, Malarkey it is then. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. You okay, I guess? Are you pinging me? Uh, yes. Do I have a lunatic? You do not have a lunatic. If I was a lunatic and I didn't pick a soldier, could you lie to me that I picked a soldier? You know the answer to that is yes, Aggie. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Just wanted, <laughs> just wanted you to say it on the record. Uh, I thought I wondered how long it would take you to be paranoid about that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Love you. Bye. Bye. Okay, right now I've got to go break the news to these guys. Um, but first, yeah, no, straight over to them. Hello, Malaki. Hello, hello. Uh, you are the poisoner. You are evil. Ah. What? <laughs> <laughs> your, your fellow minion is George, your demon is Ellen. George and Ellen. Oh, I was looking forward to being Pixie. Well, I'm afraid you'll just have to settle for Poisoner. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> you want me to pick a player? Uh, yes, please. Um, I will obviously pick Cat. Uh, you'll pick Cat. Okay, Cat it is. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, yeah, I've just quickly given Ellen her bluffs. Uh, it's worth noting that on the reveal stream last week, uh, the Kazali picked all outsiders and shafted themselves. So I've probably somewhat overcompensated this week, and now they've picked all townsfolk. It's a funny old world, isn't it? Hello, George. Hello. Uh, you are the witch, you are evil. Oh, thank Christ. I hate <laughs> your, your fellow minion is Malaki. Your demon is Ellen. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay, good luck. Okay, right. Oh, I need to get his pick. Let's get him back in here. 
I almost forgot. Uh, your, <laughs> your, uh, your witch cursing. Oh yeah, that's the whole thing, isn't it? Oh, fun. Um, oh, I don't know. Let's go with... Let's go with Malachan. Okay, Malachan it is. Thank you. Actually... Okay. Okay, Mathematician Zero might reveal the lunatic here. Yeah. Um... Okay, so it, it is a mathematician. Why did I put a mathematician in? I'm so bad at mathematician. Um, what's worked incorrectly? Um, has has Aggie... Oh, because Ellen picked different things to the lunatic, right? So that's one. That that goes, yeah. The mathematician learns if the lunatic attacks. Oh, but, he, they, but the lunatic didn't attack. Did it attack? Is it? Is that just a generic term? That's a tough one. That's a that's a tough call. That could definitely be interpreted both ways. I'm going to go ahead and and just what I always do in situations like this is I go literally with the letter of it until someone tells me otherwise. The word attack implies an attempt at killing. It wasn't an attack. It was choosing minions. So, I'm going to say that the mathematician gets a zero. I think that's fair. I don't think I, I don't think anyone can call me unreasonable for making that call. Uh, I'm sure someone will though, because you know, these videos tend to get about twelve thousand views. Hello, Milk. Hello, Ben Burton. Zero things went wrong. Hooray! This town <laughs> is operating at optimal efficiency. Yeah, almost don't really need a mathematician if the only number they have to deal with is zero. Yeah, I agree. Although you know, mathematicians are the ones that argue that zero is in fact a number, which of course it is. Yeah, or, or is it not? Is it an absence of numbers? Is it like black? Well, I'm sure I've just started a wonderful discussion in chat. <laughs> Have a great time with that. Okay, cool. All right, thank you, Milk. And no one wakes after Milk. Okay, I think we're good to go. This should be interesting. I am definitely going to follow Aggie around. From geography or food is it uh good morning everybody uh, welcome to food geography uh the uh delightful little english town uh, that was named after its founder food mcgeography good luck everybody <laughs> turkey to get both categories. so uh, i am the, the mayor McGeography. of food mcgeography you are the what <laughs> i am the mayor of food mcgeography uh, big if true excellent um, okay. this worked out, uh, terribly last time. Those who've left don't get well, to Mayor, know. Let's talk. Uh, before anyone else leaves, Oi, demon, I'm the Raven Keeper, come get me. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, I thought you were going to tell us that you... Should we just round Robin at this point? Seems easier. Easy, yeah. <laughs> yeah <maybe. laughs> game, done. <laughs> I'm an escape hatch for evil. Ooh. Oh, Ben! I would like to ask my amnesia question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Since I didn't wake up last night, and uh, this might bite me in the ass because there's a chambermaid on the script. No, there isn't. I am safe. Um, I would like to ask if my amnesiac power has something to do with nominations, and I would like you to say that it's cold. Okay, that's a good call because it was to do with nominations last week, and I probably wouldn't do that twice in a row. I did not remember that. Alright, cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Amnesiac for a day or two, possibly feeling amnesiac before backing into a flower girl because I hate it so much. Yep. Um, but that's fine. Cool. I'll say that you claimed amnesiac. If yeah, I told you amnesiac. I told you yep. I picked someone who wasn't you. Cool. All right. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. And oh, we're about to do worse to our kitty because uh, my husband's going to come down and going to demand his spot on the sofa back. Uh, right. <laughs> um, uh, I have claimed something publicly. What would you like to say in return? Uh, I didn't hear your public claim. Oh, oh dear. Were you one of those people who ran off when I was saying I had something to say? Yeah, I guess I was. Uh, that's fine. I will just tell you I am the sailor or the amnesiac. Sailor or the amnesiac. Okay. Um, let me just see. Oh, no, no, no. Honey, just sit next to her. Oh, now she's going to run away. Sorry. Um tell you what i am the raven keeper or the hatter okay sounds good yeah thank you very much 
question. Okay. I want to know if your token was uh, on a necklace being sold on Etsy. Uh, how popular would it be for non people that have never heard of Clock Tower? Um, I want to say, like, without really knowing the Etsy scene, I would say probably you quite popular. That. I think it's a reasonable, consistent seller. That's a good question, right cool. there. Yeah, uh, it's an interesting question. I'm write like consistent seller. Yeah. Uh, I think mine would actually be lower down in the ranking. Hello, Madam Mayor. Uh, I am here to let you know that your town is running at peak efficiency. Oh, excellent. It is all optimal. Okay. Um, so, what are you? Uh, I'm the one who's here to tell you that we're running at peak efficiency. Everything is optimal. I am aware, currently, due to my role, that everything is working just fine. So you're the mathematician? That's right. Awesome. Okay. Um, may your maths bring in plenty of taxes? Well, there's basically... Math, math doesn't generate revenue. Math math, math only costs money. Guild. And yeah. uh, I, I have been planning uh, to come and play Clock Tower and Sheffield at some point soon. Oh, nice! Um, I w you should tell me when you're going to play and I'll come um, mm. and hang out. Because it's easy. I, I, I used to go to university in Sheffield uh, and I used to live there for like three years. Oh, very um, nice. First did my when I was when I was a baby eighteen year old. Doing... How are you? Yeah, good. Thanks you. Not too bad. Got got anything you want to tell me? Got anything you want to tell me? Anything you want? Have you already spoken to George? I have. Good. Good. Cool. Oh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that all about? Why are they being cagey? <laughs> <laughs> then that's enough for me <laughs> yep <laughs> i was like okay fair enough um i'm claiming fortune teller again oh. yes um aggie's the lunatic and picked me and malashan so i'm gonna have to just deny that but she picked malashan as we don't know the your marionette. guess is as good as that's mine amazing. it's very possible i'm really hoping marionette <laughs> Um, but I'm just going to try and avoid speaking to Aki for as long as possible. Hello, Ben. Hello, George. Um, I'm just going to spend a couple of days bluffing either Amnesiac or Failing Amnesiac before I reveal the truth that I am, of course, the Flower Girl. Okay, okay. Um, uh, sounds uh, good. Yeah, uh, so I, I, last night I obviously picked Res Nora, as you can tell, and nothing happened. Uh, and then mysteriously, I'm going to learn a number tonight, which is I mean, not a number. It's a yes or a no, the Flower Girl. Uh, okay. All right. I'll let you guess for that tonight. Okay, sounds good. Uh, you're very, very uh, green. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. How long do you think Ellen can avoid Aggie for? I think I should help her out by... Uh, I think we'll give these guys one more minute and then I'll hit the gong. Going fine. Oh, hi, bud. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Don't mind me. Just act like I'm not here. Hmm. Sure. Uh, I am mad, as Pixie mad, that I am the balloonist. No, wait. I know I'm just the regular balloonist. Nothing to do with the Pixie. <laughs> just the regular balloonist. Yeah. Uh, well, I've got. Oh. Did you call for me? Me? No. Oh. I didn't. Weird. Okay, never mind. Don't know what that Should was I call about. for you? No. Nope. Nah. Alright. Ben, come here. I thought I thought it was you, but it must have been someone else. <laughs> it's, it's, George, George is evil. George is refusing to recycle in proper bins. It's a, it's a terrible a terrible stance for me to take. He wants to mix his corpses in with his cardboard and his bottles. <laughs> yeah, I just, we can we can make corpse glass. Corpses if we need are to. recyclable. Yeah. Yes, they are in food I geography. Yeah. Come here. Hello. Hello. Um, I've told a couple of people I might be an amnesiac, so just want to make sure that that's viable. So, hi. Okay, I'll give you a warm because I'm being requested elsewhere. Awesome, thanks. Aha! <laughs> What's happening is dog. So many people. 
Hello. Ugh, I keep getting pinged. I was uh, that was a lie. I did want to talk to you, but yeah, I didn't want to give away straight away that. I was... Yeah, I figured. I figured as much. That's why I backed down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. Sorry for lying to you, storyteller. <laughs> uh, can I have my savant information, please? Yes. Your savant information is either. Okay. Either there are four or more outsiders in play. Or, one of your neighbours is an outsider. Interesting. Okay, thank you. I You're appreciate welcome. your information. Goodbye. Ben would tell me. Okay. Cool. Alright, Grant, but okay. you know, I'll just let you know that if you do claim Goblin, I will vote for that. Cool, good to know. <laughs> this wasn't the conversation I was expecting. <laughs> okay, uh, well, good luck with that. And uh, I'm looking forward to this goblin claim. Yes, okay. What? Oh, she's gone. Okay. I don't know if it... Did it happen? It might not have happened. It's <laughs> not pleased. I'm, I'm so sorry, Spoonie. Oh, but Jackie... You do have to do your recycling properly. Welcome oh, back, yeah. everyone. Uh, there are 12 of you alive. That means six votes required today. Nominations are open. Uh, Chiz nominates uh, Malashan. Chiz nominates Malashan. Tell us why. Cruelty to small dogs. <laughs> and if chat oh. doesn't know about this, now's your opportunity to confess. <laughs> Malashan? <laughs> Okay, so Chess is referring to the fact that we put our dog on a box and walked away for a bit and he was very quiet and a good boy and was just happy to sit on the box so we left him there for a while until we spotted him. He's right here now, he's fine. Okay. He's fine, yeah. Six votes. He looks very subdued. He usually does. He will just behave now, because otherwise you might, you might put him on the box again. <laughs> just hand up for the very good boy. Three's not enough. Any other nominations? Um, would somebody have to nominate Resnora for me, please? Uh, Ellen, perhaps. You can. Why not you? I've been witch cursed. It's my savant. Oh, you're worried about <laughs> the witch thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, milk nominates Resnora. Thank you. Milk, tell us why you have nominated Resnora. Uh, I have nominated Resnora to prove that I am a valueless role that doesn't care if it dies, so please leave me alone, demon. Uh, I don't really care if we kill Resnora or not. Resnora? First of all, I have got a cute dog, and how could you want to execute me <laughs> when I'm holding a cute dog? Uh, yeah, second thing is, I am, I am the goblin, though, so... Okay. That's just Res a thing. Resnora claims goblin. Oh, that's quite spicy. Goblin is a double blind, for what it's worth. Presumably you want us to vote on <laughs> this you, then, so I'm obliging the cute dog. <laughs> okay, um, it's not enough. End up in time! Damn it, sir! <laughs> Aggie would like to nominate milk. Aggie nominates milk. Tell us why. And I didn't die. Uh, okay, someone told me that uh, milk whiffs of being evil, so I, I won't tell you who, uh, but possibly milk is suspicious. Okay, milk. I am always suspicious, so well done. And uh, also, I have an incredibly valuable role to town that shouldn't die, uh, and so I prefer <laughs> if we don't exit. Okay, still looking for six. I'm taking this down. Just kill this. Yeah, Why are we going on this? This okay. is gonna yes, blow his hand down and say what's going on. Seven's enough. I'm a sheep. Bye. <laughs> Not that I believe what Milk told me, but he did give me a hard double claim, so that's why I voted on it. <laughs> Maybe I'm lucky and I have a pick. Maybe. Bringing it to a close. Five, four, three, two, 
one. Milk is spilled and we all cry. Good night. Okay. Well, the, let's see what Richie does because I'm kind of glad he's the philosopher because it will give the good team a bit more info, hopefully, unless he picks something silly. Hello! I've been thinking about this all day. What do I do? Um, uh, Savant's got one good day of information. They can now have a little drinky boo. Uh, can I pick Savant, please? Yes, uh, you certainly can. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rich. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, at least there's still a savant, right? Could be worse. Hello. Hello again. Who do you want to poison? Um, let's go for Resnora. Resnora, it is. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, to be fair to Malaki, he's not got that many good targets, has he? Uh, right, let's see what the Witch Cursing does. George not picking up, so we'll move on to Aggie and come back. Hello, Aggie. Who would you hey, like to kill? Uh, since I think I'm the lunatic, because my goblin just said... Yeah, no. Uh, I'm just going to target Chiz and hope he is the Raven Keeper. Okay. Chiz, it is. Thank you. Thank you. Smart choice. Let's see if we can get George. Okay, George, who's getting cursed? Uh, interesting question. Let's put it on Jackie. Jackie, it is. Alright, cheers. Thank you. Hello, Ellen. Hello. Uh, Aggie has chosen cheers. Yeah, I'm happy to follow Aggie for now. Um, I think I agree. Yeah. Okay. Aggie believes she's a lunatic, I think, and I don't think there's going to be much convincing her otherwise, but, you know. Fair enough. I'll follow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cheers it oh. is. Thank you. Thank you. Oh dear. <laughs> Hello, Cheers. It seems someone has called your bluff because you are dead. That is wonderful. I was so not expecting it. I'm in the middle of a mince pie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Great. That's all right. Well, who do you want to go up at while you eat your mince pie? Um... You know what? Let's go with Cat. Cat? Oh, delightful. You choose Cat and you learn Mutant. Oh, okay. Right, thanks very much. You're welcome. Okay, we we probably shouldn't execute Cat now. But for us, that right? if I had to choose any player for Chiz to pick, I would have chosen Cat. Because he's learned something that is useful to him, but from our perspective... The game is still on. That's not like screwed us or the evil team in any way. Uh, right. That's the end of the night phase. What am I going to lie to Amy Rose about? Uh, I could tell Amy Rose two truthful statements. One of them being there is a there is a drunk. Oh no, that won't. Do you know what? I'm do I do this better when I wing it. I'm just going to wing it. Good morning, everybody. I'm afraid Chiz is on the other side. Nice one, Chiz. You muted. Right. Yep. Oh no, no, that's all right. Um, the to the demon. Thank you. Uh, nice. To everyone else. Yay. Well so you were uh, almost certainly poison killed there, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have no idea why anyone would think I was the balloonist. Was that what you claim publicly? I'm just guessing because yeah. that's what, what did you claim publicly? Could have... okay, let me, let me try my question. I'll tell okay. you my question and you can answer it, and then you have to tell me what you are. Just uh, you have else. to give and me a hard claim in return, but go on. Fine. Um, 
So, if your token art was on a necklace and sold on the Etsy, uh, how popular would it be with people that aren't fans of Clock Tower? That don't know about Clock Tower? Oh, very. Very, 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 very. Um, I mean, it would... Honestly, I don't think I need to worry about Etsy. I'd be happy just sort of trying to market it direct to Fairy Gothmother or something like that. Fortune teller? Anyway, uh, your hard claim, please. For the savant. Uh, is this a big game now? Sorry? Uh, I just said, is this a bigger game? Had a little scroll down. It's not. I'm safe. And the savant. <laughs> there is no bigger. There is no bigger. Um, and since you didn't hear my hard claim, I'm pretty confident I'm not your marionette either, uh, because you wouldn't have known to kill me otherwise. Um, mm. uh, so, uh, yay, Ravenkeeper! Oh, who did you pick? Um, I'm not going to say who I picked. Okay. Because I'm going to wait to see if and when they die, um, because I saw a mutant. Is it my other neighbour? I am not going to discuss further, but it I is, mean, isn't it? It if is, you're reading, it? A Amy Rose, if you're reading Rich, that, I have some <laughs> information that relates to this. Whoa, I have some odd information that relates to this. Okay, it would well, really well, the, the game. And... We have some odd information. Either okay. there are four or more outsiders in play. Or one of my neighbours is an outsider. I already think Richie is a mutant. If you pointed okay. out Richie is a mutant, that would help. Uh, no push I did not look at Richie. You're muted. That's because I was coughing. Yeah, that helps. If you did not okay. point at Richie, that helps. If you wouldn't mind, okay. I'm going to ask Ben some more info. Okay, I'll be off. Thanks. Cheers. Bye. Ben Hameen, tell okay. me information. I think you're going to like these. Uh, either one of your living neighbours is the source of drunkenness or poisoning, or... <laughs> one of your living neighbours is the source. Yes. Or the only say causing source? the cause of drunkenness or poisoning. The only cause? No, just a, just the cause of an instance of it. A cause. Yeah. So a cause. One, one of your of living, living neighbours is... is is causing drunkenness or poisoning. Is causing drunk slash poisoning, yep. Or both of Aggie's neighbours are on the good team. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. So, for those of you playing at home, both of those were false. Two of Amy's neighbours are the cause of drunk... Living neighbours are the cause of drunkenness or poisoning. Uh, and... One of Aggie's neighbours is evil. Uh, let's let's jump drop in on a on an Aggie chat, shall we? Oh, sh is she in any? Yes. Cool. Well, good luck for you in it. Okay. Uh, thanks, Ben. Stay stay around. Okay. Hey, Ben. Hello. Uh, Look, so, I'll... what do you think's going on, Aggie? Convince you the lunatic. Uh, I want to know if Cheers maybe pointed at me because that's what usually happens with Raven Keepers, um, and learned either demon or lunatic, but if he's not a demon, he would probably tell me that he saw a lunatic and wait for me to get executed anyway, by my own hand, possibly. Uh, this is a lovely tunnel. Thank you so much, man. You're welcome. Uh, good luck winning with definitely uh, the evil team. Don't go away. Uh, uh, I want to ask my fake amnesia question. Well, I mean, d I mean, I'm quite happy to stick around for your fake amnesia question, but remember, it's fake and we've already been in here a while. <laughs> I know, I still want to ask it because Malachan's idea was really, really good. Okay. Uh, do I get information uh, concerning the neighbours of someone who was just executed? You are Blamange. <laughs> Grand. Thank you so much. Bye. You're welcome. Definitely has um, possibilities. Um, yeah. But it could be anything at this yeah. point i don't know enough other abilities uh, I, I can assume it's not you unless technically if they you were targeted um and it, no, it wouldn't be me no i'm not uh oh. but then the demon's ability didn't work as they chose so technically that's oh that's true thing. yeah so it could be a mad bounce um uh, could be a lunatic picking something different to the demon could yeah. be actually quite a lot of things lunatic would out by now though so Ben, hello. Hello, Richie. Uh, so I'm, I'm guessing you want your info. Yes, even if I've been poisoned to sniff smithereens, let's let's do this. Okay, what can I say to you? 
Would any number of Freddos make it make more likely to give me interesting information? Are you bribable? Uh, no. I'm just trying to think what would be useful <laughs> information. Um, okay. I'm going to say... Mm, what am I going to say? I'm just going to pretend like I'm carrying on talking. Okay. Here's your two pieces of info. Okay. Okay. Either. Mm -hmm. Either. Either. Ah, crap. I'm going to have to think about it. Come back to me later. There's, it's I... hard. <laughs> it's, it's hard. Okay. I'm going to think about that while I go from channel to channel. Oh, Christ. What does he want? Hello. Hello. Hopefully it's only the last day of having to bluff uh, Amnesiac. I'm pretty sure I'm in a double claim, which is fine, because I'm not actually playing Amnesiac, but... Uh, okay. Something about... I don't know. Nominations? Yeah, it's probably about nominations, isn't it? Probably getting cold. <laughs> yeah, wow. something like that. Yeah. Gosh, Amnesiac is difficult, isn't it? Oh, well. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> You're welcome. So I'm thinking maybe... Uh... I think for Richie's info, maybe both neighbours, both minions neighbour at least one outsider, or both minions neighbour no townsfolk. Oh, hang on, no, that's bad. Or the demon neighbours at least one outsider. I think I'm leaning a bit heavily into the neighbour stuff here, but I don't feel like I've got much else to go on. Exactly one outsider was selected by a minion last night. Is uh, yeah, that's that's a good that's that is a false. That is a false, yeah. Uh Okay. I'm gonna follow Richie around. Is he is he actually keep going. Oh Ben, let's have a chat. Let's have a chat. Okay, um, I've got here. Uh, I've got for you either. Exactly one outsider was selected by a minion last night, or the demon neighbors two outsiders. Sorry, the demon neighbors no outsiders. All right, nice. Enjoy. Strong, but interesting. Yeah, well, you know I, that that is what most people say about me. Okay. Cheers. So that's mm -hmm. possible. And I think the Philo may have doubled up with someone. So that's probably... I'd say soft confirming the Philo at the moment if that's if what I think is going on is going on. So. Okay. Cool. Thanks a lot. Fair enough. Catch you later. Bye. Uh, I've not heard of many. <clears throat> I think I've heard of one other. I will not say for now, but there's it, I think. Oh yeah, there wouldn't be any more, would there? Well... Else? Oh, the, oh, if there was a balloon. Because Ali does all kinds of potential. Oh, yeah. Cool, yeah. Um, I've potentially heard of one other, but that could also just be an evil thing. Um, yeah. So, cool. Hey, well, thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Doing your bluff? Uh, just, maintain, just maintaining his potential amnesia bluff. Cheek a little bluff, okay. Um, yeah. I asked you if I learn the marionette, and you told me that's cold, because that's a stupid ability. <laughs> yeah, what a dumb ability. <laughs> Thank you. I sure hope none of the 600 odd people watching have ever made that ability. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. We've got 10 of you alive. That means five votes required to kill. Let's make it a killing extravaganza. Actually, let's not because you can only execute one person. Can I doomsay, please? No. What <laughs> <laughs> a try. I think there's a you medium. You can say doom, though. <laughs> doom. I think there's a medium to high chance that there's a poisoner. I have heard of one role which can cause drunkenness. I don't think that role caused relevant drunkenness. I've heard of two, but I think one of them didn't. Okay. The one I know of. 
for sure. I don't think either of them did, actually. I'm thinking it's more in line with this Goblin Godfather, which we could rule out which. Or not. I mean, it's, it's a bit tedious, I feel like, to like brute force the witch stuff. We'll find so, out at some point, presumably. There seem to be three amnesiacs. What's that all about? Is this some kind yeah, of weird demon bluff thing? I didn't know we were up to three. That's fun. Yeah. I, I confirm that my amnesiac ability, my definitely real amnesiac ability, is not you learn who the marionette is, night one. Second call for nominations. There's a there's a mayor double claim, by the way. Cat I would like to nominate Malashan. I think Cat was just in there first. Who were you going to say, Cat? Malashan. Okay, there you go. You can work on it together. Uh, tell us why, Cat and or Aggie. For science. For science. Malashan. Um, I think I will die today, but we can do this if you want. Okay, five's the number. What do we have on Malshan? Five's enough. Science. Five. Okay. I'm claiming Sailor, but I think I'm drunk. You lied to me, Malshan. But fair enough. Um, just to share something that uh, I don't know if I believe, but I've heard it um, from someone who'd probably prefer not to say it themselves. Um, there is Savant Info suggesting that a minion selected an outsider last night. Um, uh, if you are an outsider, consider the possibility that you might be cursed today. Shall we? I didn't lie to you, Edgy. Any other nominations? Mm. Well, evil's really rising up panic on Melchon. Right? Yeah. Uh, Richie nominates George. Richie nominates George. Tell us why, Richie. Um, I reckon George is in the voting block that includes Resnora, the claim goblin, George. I think I voted maybe once. That's not much of a block. That is um, at least some of a block. Uh, you could make a, a Lego building with I mean, uh, I sure have fun, I guess. Um, I, um... I would rather move it off Balashan. I'm not in love with doing what I think we're doing here, I think. Um, but I feel pretty medium about the possibility of it moving to me. So, follow your hearts, I guess. Okay, we're now looking for six. Four's not enough. Any other nominations? Ben, I am the mutant. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Any other nominations? Oh, I'll nominate Cat. Uh, I am the mutant. George nominates Cat. Tell us why. No, no, no. Welcome to my TED talk. Uh, this is wholly unacceptable. Um, Society for the Preservation of Mutant, mutant. Hiding. Uh, demands your immediate death. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I am happy to die, but I think the savant now knows that the poisoner chose me last night. Okay. Six to die, five to die. I don't want to tie this, guys. Really? Um, I think Malashan is good. I'm going to tie that it. Looks like tying. Oh, yeah, five nice. is a tie. No one on the block. You can still kill me, Ben. I, I want to share some information that Ellen shared with me. Uh, it's not actually Ellen. But Ellen is like the front person of the <laughs> Savant Come Alliance. On. And the Savant Alliance came up with an idea via Ben. And one of those ideas were, was the demon... He sat next to no outsiders. The other idea was exactly one outsider was selected by a minion last night. So 
So let's say that's true, and Cat, the mutant, was selected by the poisoner. That means the demon... It's incorrect to say they're not sat next to any outsiders. So the demon, you outsiders oh. there, have a... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not following any of this. Is anyone else? It makes sense, man. It makes sense. What it means is a demon is sat next to an outsider. So let's kill George. Sure. I tried, but yeah. why, wait. Why would why would we kill George? I guess I'm sat next to outsiders. So like, um, ben, I am the lunatic. I, I will say, Richie's final call. Bond information is different from I am the bond information I heard. So Malachan will nominate Jackie. <laughs> Malashan yeah, has nominated yeah. Jackie. Tell us why. I do believe that Cat is the mutant, and I kind of believe the savant statement that the demon is next to an outsider. So this is someone who is next to an outsider. Jackie? This is someone who is an outsider. We are now looking for six. <laughs> I want someone. Then I'm the sweetheart. Yeah, I sure <laughs> if, if it's Jackie, then can we not kill her, please? Um, I... Don't kill Jackie, Ellen. No, 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 no. Here's the thing. Wait, why are we not killing Jackie? Why are we not? Because she's in harbour. Oh. I don't. I don't think the. I don't think the poisoner is on the mutant today, for what it's worth. And I have. I have information. I have information to back that up. Yeah, I agree. Calling it then. Five. I'm gonna die anyway. Who can yeah. I nominate? Four. Uh, Malachi? Three. Or Richie? Nominate two. somebody for a witch test. Jackie One. nominates milk. Jackie nominates milk. And dies. Tell us why, Jackie. <gasps> oh! <laughs> that's why. That's big. That's, that's <laughs> double fun. Thank you. <laughs> okay, milk. I uh, don't offend. <laughs> <laughs> we now need seven. <laughs> Savant is evil, or George is a demon. Uh, but George is not going to be the demon tomorrow because Barber Swap, so... Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. mean, has George been put on the block yet? Either. No, no, no. I, 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 we got I, four I, on me. Richard Rich claims Amnesiac and shoots at George. <laughs> <laughs> Seems not enough. I guess could, that didn't work. Could just be bollocks. That's a lot of it Could be bollocks. Well, yeah. is, it, Helen, is, is it made up? Could I'll you? nominate George. Aggie nominates George. Tell us I've why. been nominated today. I've oh, got George yeah. has been nominated. Oh, yeah, you have. Three, yeah. I tried. two, I'll cut tomorrow. one. Cat is executed and dies. Everyone goes to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise. Hang on, ben, ben. We all saw that coming. Yeah. If there's a godfather in play, they just get one kill from this, right? Uh, I've, I've run the rule that they get ten every time any any <laughs> answer. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, right. my father will just get one kill. <laughs>
Um, oh, is, is there no barber? Situation? There will be, but the barber okay. acts after the demon kill in the night order. Cool. Um, I will go for Amy Rose. Okay, Amy Rose it is. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, the evil team really don't like Amy Rose. Uh, to be fair, it's not a terrible kill. Uh, I'm pretty sure Hera and Richie believe each other. Uh, so taking one of them out is probably for the best. Uh, okay, hang on. We've got to get Helen back in here now, aren't we? Barber swap! Yeah! Um, I will swap Jackie with... <laughs> Just imagine if you chose Aggie and I can get Jackie <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, I just be it. Would I just tell her that she's a lunatic in that instance? Because she's dead, so she has no ability? I think that's unprecedented. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I could find out, but I feel like it might not be my best plan. Um, I will go for Jackie and. Resnora. Jackie and mm. Resnora. Okay. Yeah, Jackie and Resnora. Okay, cheers. Cool. Thank you. Not a terrible choice. Uh, okay, let's break the news to those two. Hello, Jackie. You are the sweetheart. You are good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Have fun. Hello. I'm sorry, hello? Hello, yes. Uh, you are the barber. You are good. Oh, okay, cool. Right. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye. Okay, that's everything now. Uh, yeah, that's everything. Richie's savant info for tomorrow. Um, what can we tell him? Uh, I think the truth should be there are no dead evil players, because honestly, I think evil are doing all right. Um, so there are no dead evil players, or... It is no longer possible for someone to become poisoned or drunk, or a new player to become poisoned or drunk, because that would that would suggest that there's no poisoner in play, which backs up the possibility of a goblin. Um, what's that? Barber chose Aggie. Ah, no, I can't say that. Lunatic picked a good player. No, that's not a terrible one. Lunatic barber pick. Well, yeah. Well, hey, let's. Uh, We'll wing it, we'll wing it. Good morning, everybody. I'm afraid Amy's grave has one red rose upon it. Oh, um, I have an announcement. I um was the goblin. I am now the barber. There was a barber swap. Um, And so Jackie can absolutely go confirm with Chiz that I was, in fact the goblin and i am no longer the goblin because you now have the goblin token jackie but but you're an evil barber then oh yeah for sure i'm the evil barber <laughs> <laughs> well this this seems fine this seems really good oh but... my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah i absolutely wouldn't worry about anything at all um other than ellen is definitely not the savant so Oh, is Ellen the savant player? Ellen is not the savant. Okay. Well, that's not what I asked. <laughs> that's not what I... <laughs> like, I have a lot of blank tokens on my grim, and nowhere to put the savant. My savant didn't mention to anybody apart from Milk. So, Richie was randomly claiming that a minion had selected an outsider? Yes. To probably Why? get the minion to come out. Why would he do that? Because he's evil. Yeah, I think he is, yeah. Um, oh, Ben, while we've got you, what's your favourite character in Clock Tower? Uh, the wizard. <laughs> Released <laughs> character. Um, uh, uh, well, it used to be Shabaloth, but honestly, 
I'm kind of in love with uh, Amnesia these days because of the le level of creativity it gives me. Mm. I'm running an all Amnesia game at the moment and it's great fun. Um, whilst you're here then also, can I ask a rules question? Uh, Richie told me that he went uh, Philo Ravenkeeper on night two. That's the night that I believe the actual Ravenkeeper died. Would that mean that the Ravenkeeper would be dr Philo drunk if the Philosopher chose it because it goes at the beginning of the night? Yes, correct. All that's correct. But if Richie's faking Savant info, he's not the feeler Ravenkeeper and the... Yeah, yeah, Raven I agree. Keeper and also the Ravenkeeper has... Yes, because you you died as the mutant. Yes. <laughs> so... No, I, I mean, think I think that I think talking. the Chiz was actually a legit Ravenkeeper rather than... Yeah, agreed. Uh, what was accurate Ravenkeeper. was that they saw me so rather than my what they saw was so Either I'm counting how many nights we had uh, since the execution. <laughs> That'd be amazing. That's the shittiest amnesiac power, man. It's because there's a pheno amnesiac, so you're actually drunk. <laughs> what? No amnesiac! I don't, make, I don't make up bad amnesiac powers, they're all top 10 hits. Aggie's claiming that you're giving her the night number, and that's it. Well, um, no, because it would. I, I didn't one. wake the first night. <laughs> <laughs> well, not necessarily, because you started with one and then gave me a two on night three, so. Knowing that you're sober is perhaps the most useful information. <laughs> Thank it? you, Ben. Uh, yeah, do stick around. I will be asking my question. Uh, Malaki, uh, what are you? Because you're also blank on my uh, Mathematician. Zero oh, one cool. zero. Zero one zero. All right. Cool. Oh, Thank Malaki. Uh, ben, I will make up a question later, but I would be asking something about outsiders and then voting. And okay. you will say that it's warm. Okay, warm it is. Cool, good to know. Thanks, man. You're welcome. That's strong. That, that, okay, uh, do you want a bit of a trustful? Is it, I have to tell someone the truth because it's funny, but I kind of can't, in good conscience, lie to a good player. Um, yeah. Pritchie, I don't know when you're lying. No, no, this is the truth. Uh, what I'm about to tell you is explicitly the truth. Okay. I am the Philo Savant. I am bluffing. Well, this is what I'm telling you. I'm the Philo soldier who's giving out random Swan information. Right. And I'm pretty sure I've convinced Ellen that I'm the Ojo. Um, and that Rez is my. Just need to see if Ellen actually speaks to. She has no. Uh, I, I've, I'm pretty sure I've convinced Are Ellen. You're telling Ellen that she she's my marionette. marionette. Right, okay, cool. Yeah. Job. Have you it's... told Amy that she's a marionette as well? No, because Amy will suss me out too easily. She's too distrusting. Uh, I could, I, yeah. Uh, and Ellen's fortune teller who's got pings on a bunch of people. Georgian, George of interest. George is one of interest. And yep. does that line up with your 100% real, genuine information? Well, my, the stuff I gave out is true. Okay. Cool. Oh. Alright. I have a zero one zero. All right. Oh, he's not, he's not interested at all. He's kind of he's got no time for Malarkey's info. Zero. So, in a world where you have been either drunk or poisoned, it would be day one's information. I it's didn't you turn that... until day two. Okay, then it wasn't you that caused it. Cool. Cool. Let me let me let me follow <laughs> up. Let me follow up with Amy Rose. Thought you might be hey. wanting some info, Richie. Yes, uh, I've, I've done my job today and convinced Ellen she's my marionette. I don't know if it's worked, but it's been good fun. <clears throat> okay. Well, here's your info. Um, either uh, none of the living players are able to create new instances of drunkenness or poisoning. <sighs> or, okay. or there are no dead evil players. So you're either saying there's no dead. So basically, no dead I'm saying there's no there's no philosopher that hasn't picked poisoner that can poison someone, sailor who can pick a new target, blah blah blah. None of that stuff. Or there are no dead evil players. Oh my brain. Okay. Nice. 
Nice double false. Nice two du double negatives there as a true false. Oh, I, I, knew, like I knew you'd like it, Richie. Oh, oh, you best thanks. you best go back to Ellen, your uh, your marionette. She'll be <laughs> worrying where you are. Yep. You damn fool. Right, uh, I think it's time we got these guys back. We can, we can, yeah, trade stories tomorrow. Richie, on a scale of shady as fuck to um, pitch dark, how shady are you today? Well, it's Richie, so he's obviously maximised that, that <laughs> scale, just... hasn't he? <laughs> I thought the scale uh, was Richie. <laughs> was not, not, very, not, not very shady, as is Mr. Spoonie. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. We have seven living players. That means four votes required. Noms are open. Just to clarify to people uh, what um, uh, Riznora said earlier, Jackie and I have confirmed. I think we've got some hands up. I think up. we should. Hmm. Go on then. Uh, can I start um, just by saying that I would like to advocate for the death of Richie today? Um, I think Richie is the poisoner. Uh, there's information in the game that suggests that Richie is the poisoner. Um, and Richie's play has been yesterday to come up with fake savant information that made minions, uh, made uh, outsiders out themselves, basically. Um, and is playing in a way that to me suggests that they're not on the good team. So uh, I would appreciate it if someone would nominate Richie today. That was all. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, in the meantime, I'd just like to real quick get my information out there. I like. I don't know how much I'm still under suspicion based on this information because I've been told about two seconds ago I had no idea where it's coming from. Um, but for what it's worth, I'm the flower girl. Um, everyone voted yesterday, so ignore that, I got a yes. But on day one, nine people voted, I got a yes, uh, which rules out Milk, Malarkey and Ellen. Oh, I definitely want to kill Richie well, it rules now. out Ellen. <laughs> um, yeah, seconding, kill Richie please. Uh, why, curiously? And his spoon. Uh, why, Grizzly? What, what, this is what? a town of sharp knives in the dark. Spare the spoon! Oh. Uh, I just basically want to say I'm more suspicious of this kind of like bottom right corner of the Grim. I think there's a few things pointing in that direction that I've heard of. Um, so I'd be interested to hear what people think of like... like well, George has just defended me, but um, George, I, I'm quite suspicious of today. I just want to say that I hate spoons, but that one is cute and we can spare it. <laughs> Second call for nominations. Best way to get right. Richie nominates George. Richie, tell us why you have nominated George. Uh, George is uh, implicated by Jackie, the barber, via the uh, Savant uh, Alliance. And as the mouthpiece for the Savant Alliance, uh, I am obliged to tell you George is evil. Hence why I tried to nominate them. Because I believe Jackie, when uh, she told me she was the barber, unfortunately she had to die for it. Let's actually get George on the block this time. All of this swing to me being evil is, I think, backed up by the pixie math misinformation, I believe. But I'm not sure. I'm also not sure where or what this being's coming from. Um, okay. Getting drunk to the pond, things like that. I don't know. But George, Stephen. George. Uh. Okay, uh, I'd love to be looped into what the actual hell is going on with the various bits of information so I can work out which ones I should take seriously and not. Um, but uh, if the extent of the information on me is the dubious sort of information, then whatever. Um, I was under the impression I was still to pay attention to it today, so I did and res them back up. But I said I'm, if it is trustworthy information, I'm probably happy to be traded with the other person sat next to an outsider. Um, but uh, uh, it's probably not a terrible idea if people worry about me to get me out of the way, but this is like the last possible moment I would consider it worth our time. Uh, do it if you want. Okay. Minimum four required. I really don't like this Richie and Ellen alliance. It Richie makes is me so very evil, and Ellen is on the same team. Yeah, Jackie, I, there, I'm, there's you know? other information pointing at George. Right, I'm can I just say... Jackie, what role are you now? Res, is it okay? Oh, yeah, you might as well. Sweetheart. <laughs> no! <laughs> you made it that um, sweetheart! Can I just say that uh, there is no Savant Alliance, 
and I am the savant, the dead savant, dead to the demon. So uh, I'm not sharing my information publicly yet, but it implicates Richie. Cool. Who I'll nominate Richie. Savant information. It sounds like there's a savant schism. Uh, George, <laughs> tell us why I've nominated Richie. Uh, people want me to. I want to. Let's make him not want anything anymore by virtue of not being alive anymore. <laughs> okay, Richie. Um, I I could give you song and peace, song and dance. I will just instead him goblin, uh, which none of you will believe. Because why would you? I've just there's there's been so much information. I'm so suspicious. A few different people have been like putting out information against me. Oh no! What are we gonna do? We're gonna kill me! Execute me, please. Uh, we need four votes, but let's make it six so we can't <laughs> lift it. Uh, that would be my advice, humbly, as your goblin. Thank you. Okay. Carry on. Four required. Richie has claimed goblin. I mean, we might be getting played. Uh, Richie is the poisoner, movement. not the goblin. Yeah, yeah, I know about the uh, fake so Well, it's not fake, it's actually. Poison. It's poisoned by you. I did I did claim goblin to everybody precisely, so something similar to the barber swap happening where the sweetheart drunken got swapped out of play. Alright. Uh I'm gonna nominate Again. Oh, someone, someone you, uh, you, you again you already nominated. Already nominated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, final call. Richie, Hang I can on. heartily recommend death. I've been dead for a while. <laughs> Hang on. Oh no, Kazali, sorry. Five. Please, just four. Three. It's okay. It's okay. Everything two. will be fine. Oh no, judging by Ben's tone. One. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Richie is executed and dies. <laughs> oh, everyone goes to sleep. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> what, what a shame. God Rich, damn it, Ben. You. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. Malarkey, who do you uh, want to poison? I want to poison Malashan. Malashan it is. Cheers. And I need the toilet. Bye. Bye. Okay, George, who's getting cursed? I mean, Rez isn't going to want to nominate, but it's tempting to pick them anyway, because um, it would be quite funny. I think Malaki's got some uh, believability. Um, I don't really want to... Oh. No, we'll go with Malashan, please. Okay, Malashan it is. Thank you. Thank you. How much do you want to bet Ellen also picks Malashan? Hello, Ellen. Hello. Who are you killing? Oh, hang on. I'm supposed to wait the lunatic first, aren't I? I'll come back yes, to you in a sec. <laughs> cool. <laughs> come on, Aggie. I'm going to need you to pick up. Hello. Hey, bud. Who do you want to kill? Um, I'd like to target Ellen and see if she dies. Okay, Ellen, it is. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, Ellen. Uh, Aggie has chosen to kill you. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, I will kill Resnora, please. Okay. Uh, the barber is dead. Would you like to make any swaps? Yeah, I'm gonna run away. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I will swap, um, uh, so I think, so Malarkey's more undercover at the moment, but I'm pushing hard on George and people don't trust me, so I'm hoping that might make George look better. Um, so I'm going to swap myself and George. Okay, you are the witch, you are evil. Oh, cool, yeah, I forgot I've become the witch, that's great. I was more okay. just trying not to be the demon. <laughs> oh. Alright, see you, you later. So that removes the witch curse, and we inform George. Hello, George. Hello. You are the Kazali. You are evil. <laughs> Not in love with that, but okay. <laughs> All right. Good luck. Yes. Okay. Didn't see that coming. Uh, 
Let's do this. Yeah. 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 I think so too. Yeah. I agree. Resnora did die in the night. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. And still, still, also, still the barber, so not a surprise. So uh, either uh, either uh, Ellen is now the demon, or Ellen yeah. is still the goblin. I think Ellen is not the demon anymore. I don't think there can't Can be a goblin, a goblin in play though. though. Just to confirm, I was never on the evil team. team. Rich just made me think I was his marionette. <laughs> <laughs> I've just I've just been panicking. Ellen, <laughs> look on Ellen's be face. She was. Who has just been made a demon? so evil. I'm just the fortune teller. Can I give out my information as Philo Savant, which I went on day two? So the Savant, if they did exist, got one day of information. I think it's Amy. Sorry, Amy. You got my first day, which is... What are these notes? So what did you get last night? Like well, yes, but everyone alone voted again. <laughs> like did every, uh, everyone, yeah, including yeah. Ellen. Oh yeah, Ellen. Every voted. single person voted. Yeah, it's, it was it was a two five split. Okay. Um. So yeah, I mostly exist to get night pings on Ellen and Malaki. Okay, so so now we need to figure. Out, okay, if Richie was actually the poisoner and not just the witch. Yeah. We have to figure out who the demon is now. If it's yeah. Ellen, I feel like if it's Ellen, we can wait. We need to figure out Malachan or Aggie. Yeah, Aggie. Um, Aggie just asked if I was, if she was my marionette. Which I don't know. She's probably capable of doing as evil, but yeah. it does make me lean towards more. She's being paranoid. <laughs> In a good way. Killing, killing the barber there instead of leaving it to like the absolute last minute is something Malachan would do. I think Malachan has to be the kill for today. I mean, part of me wants to go for Ellen just to see what happens. Like, there's probably no goblin, right? Is what we're getting at. Um, if the poisoner, if it's true, if the savant information does suggest that Richie is just the poisoner. Then, yeah. Yeah. But I, I think mean, Ricky is evil. Yeah. I think. It's hard to tell. <laughs> it's, I mean, um, it, we, can, we can do that. I would... <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I think... I think Malachan is probably someone we should look into. Like, it doesn't sound like it's... I, I'm happy with it not being Malaki, I think. Um, Malaki and Milk are like tied together. Yeah. So the only um, way it's Malaki is if Milk was, you know, I, I just I don't see it because Richie yeah. would have had to be the witch, and Ellen is legit just a good player. But I don't know what Ellen, what token Ellen received then. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I have obviously yeah, on on day one I have nose on Malaki. Uh, Milk yeah. Milk, it, but, so it just it doesn't work. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I think I think Malachan is. Like, the upside of Execute Malachan is really high, right? If, if, if Malachan doesn't die, that is absolutely huge. Yeah, that's that's the sort of thing. We need that sort of confirmation. Because we can't leave it open to... Like, if Malachan actually is the sailor and doesn't die, then... We know Malachan's good, and then it's between Aggie and Ellen. Or technically you, Aggie, and Ellen, but... Yeah. You know. We'll play the game where you're good at this point, and then I'd, I'd like to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So we cut. We need to. We need to. We need to sort Malishon out. Yeah, I'm happy with that. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Cool. Hello. I was just thinking about that. All right. Thanks, Ben. Hey, Ben. I am coasting my amnesiac bluff, even though I'm quite sure that I'm the lunatic, but I'm enjoying this. So I will ask, is my power learn the number of evils who voted the previous day? Egg. <laughs> Thank you so much, that works. <laughs> You're welcome. Fair now, that it, I don't think people will do that.
like at least four at least four people good four the four people I know are hundred percent good know that I'm the mayor. And I guess who do you like, who do you think we should kill today? I think Aggie's evil. You think Aggie's evil? I agree with like, me and Kat. Like what me and Kat had a conversation about, and what she was saying was kind of what we decided is if she's the poisoner, Ellen is probably evil, and then two of Aggie, George, and Ellen are evil, and it, Aggie's. I think it's either Ellen or George, and then Aggie. And George's information was kind of pointing at killing Richie, and he was pushing on that. So I think it's just Ellen and Aggie. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, no, it's not the That would be because that would be Matt on night. I on believe. Night. Amy was poisoned on day one. Right, so hang on. What about my day one piece of information? That's not poisoned by Richie. So either there are four or more hang outsiders on. in play, or one of my neighbours is an outsider. Richie isn't an outsider. Richie's just a poisoner and he poisoned you, surely. And then you had two false statements. No. No. And then that was the math ping on night two. That makes sense. Nominations are open. There are five of you. Is we there any chance five. I was the math ping on either on any of the? Nights I don't think well? so. No, I think it's literally just is Amy Rose on night two from her day one info. In which case, my information says it's like George is either the demon or my red herring. We kill George. Still. We kill Alan. Okay. What's? Hello. I'd like I to th- nominate Malaki because uh, we already had a call for nominations. Okay, Aggie, tell us why. Um. Oh, that makes a vote. Okay. Uh, Malaki is claiming a role that would be a uh, bold bluff for a demon and also would probably not create a marionette because he would know to just go around town and create some useful minions like Richie the Poisoner. So I think Malaki can still be a, a possible demon, especially if uh, Ellen's info is true. Ellen? Yep. You said you hadn't checked me. No, I didn't. Day I didn't one. say whether I checked you. You didn't tell me you checked me. No, I didn't. Okay, Cat, Malaki, uh, Malaki, your defense. Uh, I hear what Aggie is saying. However, it'd be a very bold bluff to go pick C and then pick a random ability that happened to be in play. Um, I am just what I am. If you need to clear it up, worlds, but George proves that I'm not the demon. So this feels like the wrong kill. Raise the number. Really? Nobody? I think Aggie is my choice for execution today. Yeah. I think the information is pointing at George. One's not enough. My information could point to any of um, Malarkey, Malachan or George, depending on basically yeah. if I have both the red herring and the demon in those three. I think, um, I think... Also worth noting, Barbara has died. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Surely we kill Malachan based on the two Savants. Yeah, I'm gonna nominate Malachan. Why? Why are people trusting Richie? George I nominates no Malachan. Tell us why, George. I'm still working on whether this is the right choice after the barber swap, but I think there's a pretty like Malachi is the only person in the life I really trust with any degree at all. And the upside, like, if, like the potential, if Malachan survives this execution, that's absolutely enormous news. Um, it tells us an awful lot. Um, my information says they could have been the demon from day one, and if so, if this swap, if this swap hasn't happened, then it could easily still be here. Um, and I think I like the taking the chance on either side of the equation of their alignment here. Malachan? Um, I think it's only Richie's information that's pointing at me, and I think most people correctly surmise that Richie's almost certainly the poisoner, and certainly evil. Um, I and think Ellen is almost certainly evil, and then one of George and Aggie is the other evil. With the barber swap, we don't know which way around it is, but we should kill into that set, not into me. Okay. Look of three. We can go to Ellen today. I'm fine I'd rather you. go for George. Would people go for George? I'd rather go for Aggie. I will not go for George today. I'd rather go for Aggie. And one is not enough. Things that you have said which have been pretty suspect. Mm. 
No, or when the whole Zaggy. sweetheart Malarkey. thing came out. Nominate Saggy. Tell us why, Malarkey. Uh, I think <clears throat> we're down to a very few demon candidates. Aggie is one of them. Uh, Aggie nominated me, so this is revenge. Yeah, that's fair, revenge. Can't. I panicked about the sweet cards because I'm an information role, and I was like, well, that's a chance that my information is now drunk and I will never know. Because uh, I'm the amnesiac, and not only do I learn numbers, then I need to ask questions about them. Um, and my questions have not yielded a bingo. <coughs> so. But I got a 1 and a 2 and then a 1 again. So it might be poison to drunk still, even though she's dead, so I don't know what that's about. Okay, looking for 3 still. Mal. Thank you, I'd rather not. Yeah, I mean, as many dead votes as. Amy's day two information, which should be right them. off of the math number, yeah. indicates that one of Aggie's neighbors should be evil, regardless of whether Richie is what no flaming for the poisoner. Mm. I guess Malaki can be the poisoner. In Richie could be the witch as well. Any other I'm not, yeah, I'm I mean, not the witch. I'm not the poisoner. I'm not the demon. We haven't I'm had a witch death. The demo savant. Yeah. And I purposely went sus as all buggery because that's useful to me. And I honestly thought. Goblin would survive longer than that. Well, that's but it's fine. Started. I could have just There's come no out. There's no goblin in play, Richie. Uh, I I have no idea if there is or not, but there is a goblin on the script. Right, Call but then Amy's life. day two, and then Amy still got a true statement and a false statement on day two, regardless of whether Richie oh. is poisoning Amy or is the Philo Savant. Mm. In which mm. case, if, yeah, if, the if, 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 the if, if Richie, if Richie's the witch, then one. But anyway, right, then not the witch. Yeah, yeah. Aggie is like. executed and dies. Everybody goes to sleep. Malaki, who would you like to poison? Malashan, please. Malashan it is. George, who would you like to kill? That'll be Malashan, please. Malashan it is. Thank you. Considered the world Good morning, oh. everybody. Oh, no. Malashan died yep. in the night. That the is. game is over. And our winners, as you're no, you've no doubt figured out, are in fact the evil team, all of whom are still alive. It's symmetrical. It is. Is Alan good, Richie? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's good, guys. Uh, crap. <laughs> Where to begin? Let's kick off with Chiz, who immediately announced oh Ravenkeeper on day one, uh, <laughs> and and was killed in the night. More on that later. Uh, but Chiz chose Cat, learning that Cat was in fact the mutant. Cat uh, died to her own ability uh, after Jackie died to our witch. Uh, but the <laughs> the end. Okay, hang on. I'm going to come back to that as well. There was a lot going on here. Uh, Malashan was the mayor who last night was poisoned by Malaki the Poisoner. Otherwise, I 100% would have pinged that off elsewhere. Uh, Amy Rose was our savant who on day one got correct... Well, got sober information. Uh, and then on day two was told two false pieces of information. Uh, because on night two, Richie the Philosopher gained the savant's ability. And I believe got legit yeah. info for the whole of the game. Um... <coughs> If memory serves. Uh, Milk was our mathematician who learned a zero on night one. Uh, unfortunately died on day one. There was a lot of drunkenness and poisoning going around. It would have been useful to have Milk around a bit longer. Alas, twas not to be. Uh, Aggie was our lunatic who on night one selected <laughs> Ellen and Malashan. And I simulated Malashan being the soldier. Uh, and Aggie chose for Ellen to become the goblin. <laughs> Ellen was in fact our starting Kazali. <laughs> <laughs> Who, upon the death of Reznora, our second barb of this game, uh, chose to switch with George, the starting witch, who was responsible for the witch death, and Jackie, our starting barber, saw the game out as the sweetheart. <coughs> I had no idea about that swap. So, what was Amy <laughs> Rose's true statement on day one? What did you get, Amy? Uh, it was the four outsiders. Yep, four uh, outsiders. So Four outsiders, uh, either there is four or more outsiders oh, in play, or one of my neighbors yes. is an outsider. Aggie, did you yeah, see the demon? No, no, I, I figured it out after George didn't die in the night. That would have been good to know, but yeah, well played. It was evil. a fun conversation on day one, though, Aggie. That was pretty so, fun. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't out to anyone at all? 
Oh, I outed to Ellen. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, oh. I thought it had been spread around. Ellen did pass it on to me. I, I told it to Chiz. Oh, great. Mm -hmm.